Listen, all of the signs are slowly beginning to point towards this being one of the most insane crypto cycles we've seen in our lifetimes. I don't know about you, but I'm saving every little penny and putting it into the market while I still have the chance, and I personally think time is running out. We may be in the middle of the greatest wealth transfer in history. That's why I'm bringing you guys some information that I hope will be useful to you during your investing journey this run. Welcome back to another episode of Fire Hustle. My name is Summer. I just launched the Fire Hustle VIP Discord for those who want early access to private token sales for new projects. You'll also get to see my personal portfolio moves, access exclusive giveaways, and much more. Check out the link in the description to learn more. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and most most importantly, hit that shiny bell notification button. And as always, please remember that none of this is financial advice. So I'm going to go over some important topics in this video, including news and bullish catalysts, winning narratives, and my investment strategy. All of this is very important to get you prepped for this upcoming bull cycle. So if there's anything you should pay attention to, it's this. First off, we have brand new ETFs officially hitting the markets, including the Ethereum ETFs, as well as Grayscale's AI digital assets. Asset fund. This has been bringing in a massive inflow of volume to crypto as it opens up room for traditional investors to dip their hands further into crypto assets. It's also a huge milestone as the Ethereum ETF is the very first official altcoin ETF. Next, we have the massive news that you're all here for. The presidential candidates RFK and Donald Trump both dropped absolute bombs in the form of speeches at the Bitcoin conference. It shows that crypto is important enough for it to become a topic on every major presidential candidate's platform, with Trump and RFK Jr. both delivering bullish speeches on crypto and Kamala Harris regretting fading the conference and trying to backtrack. Having a party in office that's not only understanding but even bullish on Bitcoin is massive massive since one of the biggest concerns for crypto investors has always been the fear of laws banning or limiting cryptocurrencies. There's so much to cover with these speeches so let's do a rapid bullet form segment where I cover all of the important things said by Trump. Shout out to Dennis over at Virtual Bacon for bunching everything together. So first off, Trump said he's going to fire the head of the SEC, Gary Gensler, twice. Take a look at how the crowd reacted. Oh, we're gonna let it grow on day one. I will fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new SEC chairman. I didn't know he was that unpopular. Wow. I didn't know he was that unpopular. <laughs> Let me say it again. <laughs> On day one, I will fire Gary Gensler. Whoa. The crowd's reaction makes sense, looking at how Gary feels about crypto, and along with that, Trump stated that he would create a US government strategic national Bitcoin stockpile for the 200,000 Bitcoins currently held by the DOJ, worth over $13 billion. He also vowed to keep 100% of the Bitcoin that the government owns. He made some bullish statements like how Bitcoin will one day probably surpass the market cap of gold, go to the moon, and skyrocket like never before. Trump also calls out the current administration administration for trying to block and censor crypto through pricing limitations on transactions, working with banks to block deposits, and other things that all of us have been through at some point in a crypto journey. He stated he aims to make the United States the crypto capital and Bitcoin superpower of the world. And finally, he said there will never be a CBDC while he is president. CBDC stands for a central bank digital currency, a new online currency that is controlled by a central bank. Obviously, this is the opposite of decentralization and very anti-crypto. If you're someone who has any interest in crypto and you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend that you take a look at the full speech as I think that it's one of the most important crypto speeches that we've ever seen. And just when you think it's all done, we get this. Here it is. This is the Bitcoin Reserve Bill. I'm reading from the text. In the Senate of the United States, J. 
to establish a Bitcoin strategic reserve, a network of secure storage vaults, purchase program and other programs to ensure the transparent management of Bitcoin holdings of the federal government. That's U.S. Senator Cynthia Loomis introducing a bill that aims to create the Bitcoin Strategic Reserve and purchase 1 million Bitcoin worth over $68 billion. So at this rate, I'll need to make another video to cover all of the news that's popping up. But now that you're up to date for the time being, it's time to cover our game plan for getting rich this bull cycle. But before we move on with this video, I thought that it was only right to share with you guys the newest tool that I built to take maximum advantage of this crypto bull run. Introducing the Fire Hustle VIP Discord. Now, joining the Fire Hustle Discord as a regular member is free and grants you access to chat with and learn from other crypto investors, get airdrop guides, free giveaways, and tons more. But if you want to take it up a level, upgrading to VIP will get you tons more. It's pretty obvious by now that launch pads are one of the best ways to make insane returns, but the problem is that you need to either win a raffle or stake insane amounts of tokens to have a chance. Well, as a Fire Hustle VIP, you'll be part of our dedicated VC group where you'll get access to pre ICO fundraising rounds through our partners. Some of our past deals include Portal, Beeble, DeepLink, Carve, Talus, Nubit, Lava, Aether, and more. The ones that are live have seen insane returns, but that's not all. Becoming a Fire Hustle VIP also gets you access to see my portfolio buy and sell plays, early videos before they're posted to YouTube, exclusive invites to private sales, NFTs, and other project whitelists, a project radar where I share up and coming projects that I think are promising, a pre sale alert feature so you don't miss insane pre sales like Portal portal, technical analysis coming soon, premium giveaways, and tons more on the way like in-depth related crypto guides on things like crypto taxes, researching and finding upcoming moon coins, and more. So if you're interested in the Fire Hustle VIP Discord, check out the link in the description at wap.com forward slash fire hustle. Now back to the video. So now you have an idea of how the markets could end up, but maybe you're not sure where to go from there. So let's talk about the single most important factor to take into account when investing in crypto and that's narratives. So let's dive into the narratives you need to focus on because this is very important. You could invest all of your money at the perfect time, but you might put your chips in the wrong narratives and it could entirely screw you over. So it's important to pick and choose correctly. So here's my strategy. I'm gonna be focusing heavily on these narrative plays, AI, gaming, deepin, and meme coins, but not just any meme coins. I'm using meme coins almost like a way to make leveraged investments into whole blockchain ecosystems and I'll dive into that later in the video. So the AI sector covers projects that use some aspect of artificial intelligence. So according to CoinGecko, the top 10 projects in this category, according to the market cap at the time of recording, are Near Protocol, Internet Computer Protocol, Fetch, Render, BitTensorTau, Akash, AIOZ, Arkham, and Gollum. The total market cap for this category is around $28 billion. So it's obvious that AI is one of the most bullish sectors in crypto right now, and with good reason. Even outside of crypto, we're seeing AI as a very, very hot topic with massive companies like Apple, OpenAI, Google, and more rapidly adopting more aspects of AI into their products. As for gaming, this one has definitely been taking a beating compared to the other sectors lately, but I'm still bullish on it for the long run. So looking back at the last bull run, gaming was a massive sector with games like Axie Infinity and The Sandbox. I mean, Axie Infinity shot up from $3.49 on June 25th of 2021, all the way to $159 by November. So it's clear that the gaming market is massive in general. So knowing that, it's safe to say that there's a ton of interest in gaming within the crypto world. The difference with this bull run is that games are 10 times better. We have games like Shrapnel, Nyan Heroes, Bloodloop, and tons more being developed by AAA studios and teams with tons of experience. So I have to admit that most of the games from the last run were extremely boring 
and it's obvious that people were only playing them for the pay to win aspect and yet look how far they shot up in price. Compare that to things this time around where the games actually look pretty amazing. People will play them for fun alone and play to earn will be a bonus. Not only that, but this time we're starting to see massive publishers like Epic Games starting to incorporate Web3 into their ecosystem too by allowing Web3 games on the Epic Game stores and launcher. These are some of the reasons why I'm bullish on this sector. Now, looking at CoinGecko, the top 10 gaming projects by market cap right now are Immutable, Floki, NotCoin, Beam, Axie Infinity, Gala, Sandbox, Ronin, Apecoin, and Illuvium. Now, moving on to Deepin. This stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network. So, Deepin projects aim to use blockchain technology to create real-world infrastructure like data servers, Wi-Fi networks, and more, all while ensuring control and ownership of that infrastructure is fully decentralized. According to CoinGecko, the top 10 projects in Deepin include Filecoin, Render, Arweave, The Graph, Theta, Jasmine, Helium, BitTorrent, Akash, and AIOZ. Now, it's important to note that Deepin is a massive narrative. The category has a market cap of around $22 billion and almost $1 billion of trading volume in a 24-hour period. Now, with the quality of the projects in this sector, as well as all of the smaller promising projects, Deepin is definitely one of my top picks. Finally, let's go over meme coins. So, do I even need to explain this one? Crypto DGENs love meme coins and it has been proven nearly every bull cycle we've had. Had. The top coins here include Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Pepe, Dog with Hat, Bonk, Floki, Brett, Popcat, Mew, and Mogcoin. This category has a market cap of over $50 billion. Those of you who have been in crypto long enough remember what it was like with Dogecoin and even Shiba Inu. Millionaires were made from these coins alone. So it's obvious that meme coins can be powerful, but it's also important to note that this is by far the riskiest sector that I'm mentioning here. So if you're willing to take a risk, then here's my strategy with meme coins. We're going to focus on meme coins that are the largest in their chain by market cap, and we're going to take a look at which chains have the most potential for growth. I've narrowed down two chains that I think have massive potential, Ton and Base Chain. So since I want to bet on the growth of these chains, I would be focusing on Brett coin and Redo. Brett is the largest meme coin on base and it also falls into the Pepe Boys Club narrative. So it's a very solid pick and I'm sure most of you already know about it. As for Redo, it's short for resistance dog and it's the de facto mascot for the ton chain. Ton is Telegram's very own blockchain and it has been picking up tons of hype this run. Since these are the largest meme coins on these chains, when the chains onboard new investors, a good amount of that money is going to get pumped into to these coins causing them to skyrocket. Now, aside from all that, my overall investment strategy is gonna remain the same old boring strategy that I always preach to you guys dollar cost averaging. So throughout the ups and downs of this run, I've been slowly splitting up my investment into multiple purchases across an extended time period, and that's how simple DCAing is. If you wanna invest $1,000 into Render, you could instead consider investing $100 every week for 10 weeks. This can be split up however you want, but the benefit of this is that it helps minimize the volatility that we see in the crypto market by buying at different price points. Now, putting all of this information and these strategies together should hopefully give you an edge in this coming bull run but let me know what you guys think and if you have any other tips that I may have missed and that's all folks if you're interested in learning more about my portfolio strategies come join me in the fire hustle discord you can find the link in the description below and if you want more videos like this please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to trade crypto on spots or futures, feel free to check out the Batunix exchange with the link in the description. Remember, the crypto space comes with a high risk and none of this is financial advice. I highly recommend that you do your own research before deciding to invest. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.